Duncan might not have been convinced by James Nash's business, but when he does spot an opportunity, he can be ruthless in his determination to get the deal. As Christopher Bernardo and Richard Blakesley discovered when they came into the den with their magical remote control. So it looks pretty much as you'd expect for a wizard's wand, but of course a real magic wand should actually do something. And so with this wand, I can, for example, play some music. I can rotate it to turn the volume up. The other way to go down again. I can give it a flick to change tracks. Stop the music. In fact, you can control almost anything in your house. So, for example, I can turn on the TV. So I can fast forward, rewind, pause, turn it off, or even things like ceiling fans and lighting. And what's the technology in this? Is it the same as the remote control? It is, actually, and it's a chip that's supplied by one of the largest remote control manufacturers in the world, so we have contacts there, and it's a universal remote control chip. That is the thing that sends out the code and learns the code, because it's a learning remote control. Right, and what's your next product? Well. I can't say what our next product is because we haven't protected it and we think it's got very strong patentable. So it's all based around magic? Magical. Surprising products. So the, the one company we believe will be a brand that will take, make sort of, in quotes, magical and surprising products. An exciting proposition. It was Duncan who broke cover first. Chris, Richard, we could be here all day. I'm going to make you an offer for all the money, the £200,000, but I want 30% of the company. Is that a deal, then? Can we ask if anyone else is interested, sir? You can if you want to, but you'll be wasting your time. The full amount of money for 25%. If you were talking about a sliding scale, getting it down to 12%. Does that work for you? That would work. Half the money for 10%. No ratchet. Full amount, 200000 On a sliding scale, going back to 10%. Thank you very much. At one point, there was effectively £900,000 on offer from the different dragons and to be in that position was it was really mind-boggling all it took was one final push from duncan well i'll improve mine i'll drop to 10 percent if you make 1.2 million okay if you believe you're going to make 600,000, my offer is far 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 better than peers duncan really had sort of bonded with us in a way it's, it's, it's very hard to explain duncan we'd like to accept your offer thank you we wanted to work with someone who's supportive of what we can do. Yeah. And we did really feel that from you. So when are we going to meet and talk about your next invention? <laughs> Having matched the den's largest single dragon investment, it was Duncan who won out over his rivals. The £200,000 will help the duo develop new ideas to take the market by storm. That was a really big day for us, very exciting. Our first shipment coming in. The boat is enormous. Where would the one company be in five years' time? With four or five, maybe more, really well-known, world-known products that bring a bit more magic into people's lives. We've created something, and this would not be in the world if we hadn't designed it. So it's a very exciting thing.